all right welcome back so in the last video i did a lot of research but there was one thing that i couldn't really unlock and that was down here in the sulfur area i've been running around with this xeno basher for a while it does the job but when i was out exploring in the previous video once again i came across a lot of enemies and i couldn't take them all on with this i was going to die so before i get cracked on with these milestones again what i'm going to do is build myself a munitions factory now i already began a sort of element of that here and you see i've got iron rebar however i can unlock a rifle i know the best place from here that i can go get sulfur and i know there's a coal node nearby it so i'm going to pop over there and sort of survey the area but before i do that i'm just going to get a quick idea of what i'm going to need because i know i'm going to need at least two or three miners i'll say three and then i'm going to need a bunch of the conveyor belts and uh, since I'm here, I may as well grab some pipes because I think I'm going to use quite a bit of that. So the location's kind of near my quartz factory and the coal node that I'm thinking of is actually built under the old road that I built. Now I won't probably need the road anyway because I am mostly doing everything by train. And I've kind of got an idea in my head that I can connect the railway up to the coal generator plant, coal power plant up there because I did put a train track in there. What the hell's going on with that texture? Oh, there we go. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting stuttering. It's not very common for this game to stutter. So unfortunately, that coal node is right under the corner of that bit of the road. But at least I don't have to worry too much about the logistics because it's it's pretty damn close to power and everything. So yeah, there's the coal node there. Sadly, this road will probably have to go. And it's a pure node. I knew I'd have to probably delete all this stuff at some point. Okay, so we've got the coal that's free and then over here should be the sulfur see i've already set up sort of camp here in the past what i'm thinking is use this natural road yeah so i'll have this like entrance area i'm thinking what i'll do is i'll expand out here i'll try and preserve as much of the natural environment as possible i don't want to chop down trees i might have to chop them down a little bit yeah that one looks like it could be a problem so the good news is I have a bunch of these portable miners already. I don't have much inventory space. I just realized I got a ton of sulfur picked up with that. Right, so I have enough miners, I believe. Oh yeah, I forgot I unlocked the geothermal generator. Right, so we can put a miner down. Let's say it like that. And then our two of these. Three of these. So we've got a normal and an impure. That's going to generate 120. And that'll be what, 60? Yeah, that's not great. Yeah, there's going to have to be definite big changes to my, my whole sort of uh, road system. Do you mind? Where'd he go? Where the hell did he go? I can hear him. Ah. I'm trying to think of a way that would look okay to transport this. I mean, I'd probably get away with putting it on the ground. Yeah, I think this tree is going to have to go, sadly. Oh wow. That's pretty awesome. Anyway, back to work. Right, so yeah, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have like a little um, entrance here. By entrance, I mean a conveyor wall. And the coal will be brought via the conveyor belt all the way over here. I'm going to have to go up a little bit. But I'll use this rock. I'm hoping that's enough clearance. Yeah, I think a truck can get under there. Pretty easy. There. And we can just have that go along. Uh, we can actually hide this behind a window. Like that. And I think it would also make sense to put it down into the ground. There we are. So I'm thinking about having like all of the gunpowder sort of making and all that kind of stuff will be done down here and up here. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but I'm thinking about putting in like a gun range. Fire range, that'd be pretty cool I think. I'm going to try these tilted walls because I haven't used these yet. But they are, they seem intriguing. Why are they going up the way and not down the way? Go down the way please. Well I don't like that. Yeah I'm doing that thing where I'm building from the top up, top down. Ah uh, that was a dumb idea. I also just realised there's actually a cave under here. That's pretty neat. I have like a secret bat cave. Where does this take you? Huh, takes me out to this conveyor belt. 
That gives me an idea. Oh, we can use this. We can get rid of all this conveyor belt system now. We can just run the conveyor belt through the, the cave. I mean, it's a shame because I kind of like this, this glass bit, but it would make more sense and look neater. Let me just pop it out here. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this down another... I'm going to leave a, a gap underneath the foundation so that I'm not interrupting any of this water. I want to keep everything flowing. Put the glass frames down like I did before so I can see below me. I'm thinking these foundations are actually a little bit too thick. I'm going to switch to the one, the one meters. That'll make more sense. Right, so if I just use this as like a walkway. Okay, I think I kind of know what I'm doing. So we'll put our frame supports in here. There we go. So we've kind of got like a supported... Oh, shit. Yeah, so we can then have... Conveyor. We're running along here. Some hex frames down, maybe. Right. This is a little idea that I had. Kind of looks like shit. Yeah, that that's no, that's not happening. I like the design of this. I th like what I've done here. I'm thinking I might actually change what I was gonna do. I'm gonna make this like a parking area, and then just sort of that. Wait, put this out a little bit more. I don't know how do I use stairs. I don't even know how to use stairs. Yeah, I really don't like these stairs. They just look too dangerous. Nah, I'll find another way down. Right, so I've made a walkway down, but I don't know, the angles are kind of off and uh, there was a gap here and that was the only way I could kind of block it up. Unfortunately, it's not very neat looking. Yeah, it looks like that's the only way. So, I've kind of got a foundation down. Um, I've calculated that I'm going to be making about 240 coal per minute and I think 180 sulfur per minute which is way more than I actually need. I don't I don't need 12 assemblers worth of black gunpowder. That's insane. What I'm going to do is, I mean, if we look in the recipes, we can see what other sort of rebar we can make. Is rebar just done in a constructor? No, oh, it is. That's fine. I just need to figure out a way of getting the rebar here or making it. I think there's iron deposits around. Yeah. Uh, four, five, six meters. That's not too bad. I mean, that's very plausible. I'm going to build this up this way anyway. Uh, yeah. So we're looking at coal and sulfur. We've got plenty of both of those. Uh, the stun rebar, I would need to somehow get quick wire here, which would mean either bringing it from the computer factory, which I'd rather not do, or finding a new Caterium node. I'm hoping there might be one close by. Oh, wow. Wow, there's one right up there. Okay. So quick wire. That's done. Shatter rebar. That's not too much of a problem either, because I do have the quartz factory pretty close by, so I can fire the quartz down here, and I'll have like one assembler her type so that's looking not too bad but i do still have to unlock oh i forgot about that nobelisk what i think i'll do about that is i'll use some of the the iron nodes that i just detected and some of the leftover coal and then i can use that to make the steel it's getting a little bit complicated in my head now i don't believe it's that hard to make you just need to make so i need a foundry don't i this is where the alternative re, re um the alternative recipes come really handy so i can make compacted coal that punts out 37 and a half a minute. Is that better than others? No, it's not really. In some ways it is better. It doesn't punt it out as fast, but at the same time you need way less resources. And then you've got the solid steel ingots, which... That's a, the solid steel ingots is basically the same, except you, you're already making them in iron ingots. Oh, I might go for that one, actually. Let me just have a look at this again. So I'll be needing 20 per minute for the Nobelisk. Mm, don't need any gunpowder for that. All right, so the black powder is only for the Nobelisk. Okay. At the moment, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start getting the black powder made. Then I'll worry about divvying it up later. Right, so I'm going to take the one that's only putting out 60 per minute. There we go. All right, so we have... I'm going to try and keep as much of the, the conveyor systems underground as possible. Out of the line of sight. So it might be a little bit messy. Okay, so just a quick update. Um, I ran, I've kind of ran out of concrete, so I need to go back and get some concrete. But before I do that, I thought I'd just do a quick run through of where I'm at. This is uh, just a basic layout of the foundation. Kind of bigger than I thought. Now, I'm trying to reach this iron over here. I'm going to need at least a couple, one or two of them just to, to punt out iron rebar. 
Uh, I'll also maybe use some of it to make steel, uh, steel pipe as well, because I know we can do that. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm doing with these divisions as of yet. The initial sort of car park area that I laid out was down at the tunnel. It takes you to the gunpowder segment over there, and then it just kind of steps up. At the moment, I've got ramps in between. The ramps will be getting taken down and replaced with uh, like proper walkways, kind of like that one there. You can kind of see that one's got a bit more of a layout. This was me just playing with ideas for. I don't. I want to try and keep as much of the natural sort of elements of the map as possible. So you can see I've went around the trees. Uh, up here, I think I'm probably going to have my nobelisks, which are the explosives, but they need steel, steel pipe. I just need to make like steel ingots, which means I need the iron, and I can also combine the iron ingots with some of the leftover coal that I'm not using so I'll, I'll redirect the coal that I'm not using to create steel and then the steel pipe will come back in to make the nobelisks obviously once I've uh, kind of got my layout done a bit better these foundations will be like I'll be adding in supports and things make it so that's not just floating this is giving me a, at least this is giving me sort of a plan this is a lot of concrete I've used and hopefully by the end of it I'll have a large munitions factory that's going to sort of not I wouldn't say blend into the environment but it's going to not be too imposing on it i'll get back to it i'm gonna go grab some concrete i'll come back and i shall start building up there where the the iron is start bringing the iron in right so fast forward it's been a bit of time so foundations of the munitions factory is down well not the foundation but the the sort of the the shell i guess which allowed me to place all of my connections my conveyor belts pipes uh so i'll just quickly run through that so this is the entrance. None of this has really changed, the entrance. Um, I still have coal coming in through a cave, and then coming underneath this glass walkway. So these three here create black powder. Right. So as you can kind of see, everything's fed from below. That's to keep everything nice. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, so we can kind of see here, sulfur will come in here. This one's not even connected. Uh, it's a pretty tight fit down here. I can't even move. We have the coal fed in from the below. Then that coal and the sulfur all feeds in from below. Then another coal connection comes out here. And next to that is where the gunpowder will be going up. Now this runs under here, so you shouldn't really see it. And this takes us to like our sort of second floor or second area. In this sort of second area we have over here, these are making steel pipe. And the steel ingots are coming from over here. So I went for an alternative recipe where instead of using iron ore, I used iron ingots. I just smelted them down and, and that gives me a, a rate of 60 per minute for steel ingots. It's so much better. But you can kind of see I've got the iron coming from up here. And I'll kind of show you that when I get up to that level where the iron's coming from. Uh, and obviously down below, that's getting fed the coal. And then it's coming out the other side and divvying up the steel. And these assemblers are the things that are creating the nobelisks. So here we go again. Oh, Oh look, there's a bird underwater. <laughs> now, if we go up to the right, this floor I'm not sure what I'm going to use for this right now. This is just like a little viewpoint. Um, I don't think I'm going to put any machinery in here. Yeah, so we'll see the iron rebar coming along here. And that gets fed in through there. And there's not much to this one. This one creates the stun rebar. So it just needs, it just needs iron rebar and quick wire not hard to get because there was a cotidium a deposit just up there you can see the the miner i've just brought that down and through here i'll smelt it down to cotidium ingots then to quick wire and then the quick wire comes in here with the iron rebar makes stun rebar i don't think i'm ever going to use stun rebar now if we go over the other side anyway this is the the top you can kind of see where the, the iron ore is coming from that comes up here feeds in and that just goes along in through that wall and out up to this large area here and that's designed to create shower rebar so basically we've got quartz crystals feeding in all the way from a quote the, the the original quartz factory that i made that's just over there to the west uh, that's being belted all the way over here along with some iron ore and the whole point of this refinery is it's going to be creating this smokeless powder which i'm going to need for research uh, if i want to unlock like the rifle and everything this will be getting heavy oil residue and black powder now the black powder is fine, we've got that coming in, that's from all the way down there. 
the heavy royal. I don't know how this is going to work. I have piped this in all the way from my refinery over here. It's it was uh, just an insane project that bring that, and I had to use two pumps to get it up. Right, so yeah, I made this. So the these four constructors make iron rebar. You know, see the rebar come past, then goes under here, and then it feeds off into there and my little caterium stun rebar area there. Um, the quartz and uh, comes in. I've windowed that off so you can just see the nice conveyor of quartz crystals. Now we go up to the final bit. Now this is where all of the stuff begins. This is just smelters over here. All of these are, are smelting down into iron ingots and then feeding into these which create iron rods. So under here, <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite a lot. Some of the iron goes away and that disappears. I can't remember why. Oh yeah, it goes to the foundry. Uh, and then the rest, yeah, so these ones feed in here. These are both going up into the constructor to create rods. And then the rods get spat out into these, which go down and made into the iron rebar. So the next thing I need to do is fire up the walls. Oh, that was the thing. Yeah, I was going to show you the pipeline. You know, the pipe, you can kind of see where it was going. It fed in through this way. So I've bolted it onto the cliff. This is just insane. It's also where my iron's feeding in from. But yeah, you can see this pipeline all the way down there and you can't see it but it travels underneath this and all the way over there that's it that's the whole sort of build at the moment i'm just gonna crack on with it I'm back down at my uh walkway and i've i've done most of the architecture now we enter here we've got the gunpowder area and this is all now glass roofed so we've got a little viewing window for this big tree this is a very nice tree I'm not going to say there's a theme because this was just random. I just wanted to throw it up as quick as I could and it took me about an hour. We have an access door here that allows us in. This is something I've still to add to a lot of areas is access doors. But anyway, the door that takes us up to the next area. I just did sort of random window placement on this. But yeah, a bit of foundry on the left. Whatever the hell I'm making there on the right. Completely different. There's a more sort of offset look on this one. I kind of mismatched some of the tar roofing with the glass roofing and it's just kind of wacky overall. Uh, I don't really know what I was thinking when I did this next bit. Now this is the, I don't know, it's like the, the, the middle area that takes you, the two wings, one that goes up there and one that goes up there. You can kind of see I just did this really abstract design for absolutely no reason. You come in, it's just a hallway, steel beams keeping all this up because obviously that would collapse. Nice big viewing window looking out into this hill. If we go up to the left, we've got the open walkway. Still roof though, but you know, in case it rains. And I've kind of put this like curved roof on it. Obviously a big tall area to store the, the refinery in because it's so big. If we go up here, this is pretty ugly. <laughs> I really don't know what I was trying to achieve with that, but we come in. Unfortunately, we lost a tree. But I did cut, there was a tree here that was encroaching on everything. So I cut it down, but I deleted that one as well. But you get a good view up here of just the surrounding area. Sort of down below you see the other areas. It's not much going on in this area. And we go up here. And I just realised I haven't finished roofing this bit either. Right, so that should be all of the uh, equipment wired up. Ready to go. Which just leaves me one more task. Which is to turn it all on. However, before I do that, I'm actually going to put down a switch. And first things first, I want to look at how much power I'm using on this, uh, this power line. Okay, so my maximum consumption is 267. It's not as bad of a draw as I was expecting. I never sat down and worked it out, but 267, still a waste. But if I can turn it off, it's not bad. There we go. So here's the power grid for my munitions factory, 267. I flip the switch, everything should start to work. There we go. And that shows me the added consumption. Yeah, my game's getting a bit jittery. So there we go, we've got all the sulfur feeding in. Let's check these machines. Yeah, we've got the sulfur. Yeah, so we look, we see all the black powder going up there. Okay, we're still waiting for the steel pipe. It's probably gonna take a little while before we see anything coming through here. We've got some black powder going that way. No rebar yet. Let's go make sure everything's working fine. So that's all definitely making it. Ah, look. See how 
easy it is for things to get messed up. One little thing I overlooked. Now we'll see everything come into motion. Fantastic. So everything's working as planned. For the moment, the refinery here is making smokeless powder, which I'll take because I need that. We should see a rebar coming past here. Everything so far is working. Well, this went a lot better than I expected. Right, so with everyone working as intended for the moment, I'm going to let the smokeless powder and things build up a little bit. While that happens, what I'll do is I shall fire some foundations and supports down on these so that they're not just floating buildings. So everything is done now. Right, so I'll kind of go down here and kind of show you what's happening. There's a bit of a colour scheme going on in different segments. You can see I've done like a red and green thing in the abstract. This one, it's still my favourite building. I like the colours and how wacky it is. Transparent window here. Obviously a window should be transparent. It's pointless if it's not. It's just a wall then. Yeah, I went for a steel frame sort of construction around here. It's open, a bit more airy. Underneath I just hit things with ramps. It doesn't stick out too much and I just continued the steel beam down through the bottom to support it. Now you can see this bit. It's not supported by much. It's got this one massive support here. Some steel beams to keep this from falling. And I just went for the good old concrete supports on this bit. So the next thing to do is just to unlock some more of the research. Right, and research explosive rebar. Cluster and obelisk, easy enough. Ooh, I can get six more inventory slots. All I need is some circuit boards and some smokeless powder. So we can get the rifle. That's basically what this whole point of me starting this was, was just to get the rifle. And uh, we can get the inflated pocket dimension, which is obviously going to come in handy. And we can get the explosive resonance one. There we go, and I have now complete quartz. Right, so how do I make a gun? It looks like I could make that. So I've got that, and I'll also make a rebar gun. Time to try these out. So this is the rifle. Ah, that's badass. No ammo for it yet though. And a rebar gun. Which, the ammo's dead cheap. Okay, so we can make rifle ammo. I also need a detonator. I think I only need one of these detonators. Right, let's go try this out. Now I know there's a big rock up here somewhere. There it is. I'm going to try blowing this up. I'm assuming I can blow all these up at once. Right. Fire in a hole. Holy shit. All that did is leave a giant crater. Now let me try this. Nice. I need to go find some enemies to test this on. I wonder if I can blow up these things. Take that. Fire no! Ha ha ha! No longer shall you be poisoning me. Oh wow. Look how much easier that is. Just one more thing to try, and that is the shatter rebar and the stun rebar. There they are. Right, let's try these. Okay. So, I'm not 100% sure what the point of these are. Let's try the shatter. That's pretty good. Like a blunderbuss. Oh, damn. Now I have these noblesks. There's one more thing I want to do. I want to go investigate a cave. I mean, the rifle is an insanely powerful weapon. This is going to just change your ability to just walk in uh, situations now. Okay, so the aiming on it is a little bit fucky. In some ways, yeah, the, the rebar is actually better for killing these things whereas the rifle's better at long range anyway that's not where the cave was the cave is actually over in this direction now i investigated this cave before but i came up against like a wall that had lots of uh, big stones on it that looked like they could be broken 
Yeah, so I'm a little bit lost. I think it's at the end of this tunnel. But I have no idea. That looks really fucking toxic. Ah, here it is. Let's try this. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, there we go. Broken through. Not sure that's a good thing, because all I'm seeing is a bunch of spiders. So, that'll do. Oh shit, wait. Something's attacking me. So, yeah. Appreciate you watching. Apologies, it was kind of long-winded. But, uh... Oh shit, no. I'll get back on track next time. Uh, <laughs> and hope you have a great day. See you in the next one.